Hey everybody, what's going on? It's week 16, but let's talk about last week because it was a pretty good week. Let's talk about week 15. Let's talk about what happened in the file. Had a positive comment in the, uh, somebody's like, I hit a bunch of parlays with your file. I'm like, I can see why. Uh, that's because we hit the top seven games possible. We missed the Chargers over the Chiefs. And by the way, I mean, the Chiefs are still a good team, right? Uh, Tennessee, San Francisco is kind of a clear miss. The Bears in Detroit, although I used to like Detroit, and then, of course, they don't come up. And then, of course, I thought the skins were going to – the file almost did go 13-3 and three if you think about the uh, the Washington Redskins game in Arizona because I, I thought the skins were going to win that game too. So, awesome. Uh, let's see if we can keep it rolling this week. Let's talk about week 16, and let's talk about overall best things to do because this is kind of one of the last weeks where – you don't have uh, you don't have that final week of the season where kind of a lot of times playoffs are already set for certain teams and you know it's a mess uh, or 17 or 18 how many weeks has we got this season I think it's just 17 weeks right yeah so it's going to be this week and next week so let's talk about the games I did a quick view of it already and I like some of these so Jacksonville and San Francisco um, the, Jacksonville has kind of been a powerhouse lately let's well, I'll go over it team by team in a second, but let's go one game by game. Yeah, I like this. Ravens over Indianapolis. Indianapolis, we've established they blow. So, yeah. Uh, Pittsburgh. Now, what happened in the Patriots-Steelers game, I didn't watch it, but I saw some clips later, and I feel like there's some Boston money that is like the Patriots have to have the best record in the conference or whatever, and you cannot have Pittsburgh win this game, and they just called that back. I, I smell funny, funny smelly business. So whatever. Um, I had the Patriots in the file. I guess that means, you know, go with the Patriots when in doubt, right, if that's the way things are going to be. I like go against Dallas and go with Patriots. That's what I've learned when it comes to that. So Pittsburgh and Houston – uh, I do like the Steelers here because they're pissed after last week. They should win. Minnesota's probably going to beat Green Bay unless Rodgers is back. I, I don't um, I don't think that Aaron Rodgers is back this season, but he might be just – you never know. If he's coming back, that can always change things, but I don't think he is. Eagles and Raiders. Eagles, again, pulled one out against the Giants. Eagles are probably going to be – yeah, Eagles are probably going to beat the Raiders here. Bears over the Browns. Now, are the Browns going to win a game? We always get down to that. They show sparks of potentially winning games. The Bears are a team that can be beat. They just got beat by Detroit last week. Sneaky. Keep an eye on this game. I would not necessarily load up on the Bears, and I'll probably show you why when we go team by team in a minute. Uh, the Rams offensively are out of control. Tennessee just blew a game to San Francisco, right? I, I think this is probably good. I like the Rams here. Panthers and the Bucks. Um, Panthers and the Bucks. Yeah, that's fine. I think maybe PDD will buy them by then. <laughs> uh, I like that. I think they're. I think they're gonna be winning. No, actually, wait. Did, does PDD want them to lose or win? What's gonna? How's it gonna affect the sale price? Uh, boy, if the, if Notorious, if Biggie Smalls knew that. Puff Daddy might be buying Carolina Panthers. He would roll over in his humongous grave. Chargers and the Jets. Um, so went with the Chargers last week. They didn't do it against Kansas City. The Jets are a team that sparks upset. Stay away from this game too. I don't like the Chargers so that much, even though the files putting them up here is the, gosh, the – Ninth highest possible. A lot of interesting numbers here this week. I like a lot of these games, except watch out for that. Everything else here is good. Patriots are going to beat the Bills at home. I think yes. I think that's going to happen. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know here. Chiefs and Dolphins. I think. Wait a minute. Didn't it? What the Dolphins do this week? Maybe lost to somebody, right? They lost to the Buffalo Bills 24-16 in Buffalo. This game is not going to be in Buffalo. This game is going to be in Kansas City. Kansas City. Kansas City probably wins this game, I guess, yeah. Detroit over Cincinnati is a team of a disaster. Cincinnati is – like the FBI is not a disaster, like 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 President Treason is saying. But um, Cincinnati is a disaster right now. And so I think that um, Detroit – is uh is going to be Cincinnati then Arizona against the Giants these two teams suck so watch out here I think the Giants are actually going to win this game 
Arizona's a mess. Even the Skins beat Arizona last week. Saints over the Falcons. Um, Saints over the Falcons. Saints over the Falcons. <laughs> Thinking about that for a second. I, yeah, I don't know. That's a toss-up. Those are two good, pretty good teams. Skins, I think, are going to beat the Broncos. I like that. I, th I think so. It's in, in Washington. And then Seattle's favor over Dallas. So like I was saying before, when in doubt, go against Dallas. The predicted scoring here is 23-23. I don't know why our colors are off. I'm going to fix that conditional formatting, folks. I'm going to fix that for you right here. Show you how this works. Let's do that. And then maybe the one over here. So your conditional formatting changes colors. All I'm doing is just changing some rules saying apply the number coloring, you know, make it red when it's low and green when it's big uh, to all those areas. So um, Seahawks and Cowboys predicted scoring is 23-23. I said when in doubt go against the Cowboys. This game is in Dallas. Watch out. I think Seattle wins this game. Uh, is Elliott back? No, I don't think he's, I don't think so. Right? Six game suspension, four game suspension. I don't know. Actually, check on Elliott. If Elliott's back, I like Dallas. If Elliott's not back, I like Seattle. Put it that way. Now, going team by team, I want to show you something here. This is how um, we look at this file and say, all right, every time we picked a team of reference to win, win okay, what winning percentage did we have with that team is what I'm going to show you right now. And I'll make it easier for you to see in a second. So what this does is this says that every time I picked this team as the team that I thought was going to win, how many times was I right and how many times was I wrong? So you can see there's only five games that Arizona's listed, even though we're 15 weeks into the season, because I only had Arizona as a favorite five times throughout the year. And I was only right, whatever. So your win percentage goes right here. And where it's green, it's good. And I think that what you see is we're really good with picking Atlanta. And actually, this will tell you if it's, a, if it's under a TBD, this means that I'm choosing them to be a favorite this weekend. So you can see why I said watch out for Arizona because I've only been right 60% of the time when I'm favoring them anyway. Atlanta better. Baltimore is playing Indianapolis, though, so I still like Baltimore, I think, this week. I'm not favoring Buffalo. Carolina has been pretty darn reliable, so that's good to know. Cincinnati, right? So I had them favored four times and they won. That's amazing. Cleveland, of course. I had Cleveland favored once. Must have been the beginning of the year. Um, let's look at everybody else. Dallas, I've been right a lot, when, but they're not favored. Denver. Let's do more conditional formatting, by the way. So how about... Dallas. So that's why I'm, I'm scared about favoring Detroit this week, even. Right. Uh, Houston, Jacksonville, Chargers. Interesting. So I should I should feel more reliable. More reliable. We should be more reliable with the Chargers because they've been right 83 percent of the time. So keep that in mind. That kind of makes me want to pick them more this weekend. The Rams. Yep, that's confirming the Rams bias. Vikings. Yes. Patriots. Yes. Saints. Wow. So I should really be have faith in the Saints. They are better than I thought. Jets now, Raiders now, Eagles of course. The Eagles are the team to, are the team that you always go with, and the Steelers too. Which is why that was such a fight between the Steelers and the Patriots, obviously, right? Because they, you can see that you, normally the Steelers would have won that, and they probably should have won if the officials hadn't changed the game, right? So Seattle. Hmm. So we should be more. We should have more faith in the Saints than in Seattle, apparently. Even though I like Seattle more. Skins, okay. And that's it. So it's an interesting way to look at this. Uh, the file's free uh, because it's the end of the year. And have Merry freaking Christmas, everybody. Uh, and I hope you hit your parlays and have fun. Um, well, what the comment on YouTube I think from T T TV or TM was. Uh, 
was, you know, I hit three parlays, doing three game parlays. And I, I always thought when I was in Vegas once and I made some bets, I started doing that and I screwed it up and didn't win as much as I should. But um, th there, that's a good idea. Like if you want to pick like three game sets, I would say do something like, I really like Jacksonville. I really like Pittsburgh. I really like, I, I don't know about Rogers, but I think I really like Minnesota. I really like Philadelphia. Really like the Rams, it said. Carolina has been reliable. Chargers it likes, although that's scary. Patriots. It likes the Saints really a lot, which is intriguing against Atlanta, which just barely beat Tampa Bay on Monday night. Um, so, yeah, so interesting look at the file this week and go download away and have fun. And um, I don't know, win. <laughs> go America.